This is TomorrowPictures.tv. I can breathe. George Floyd. And uh, what's going on in Washington and D.C.? We're going to do something that uh, people haven't seen before. In the brief span of 30 odd years, the world has seen an inventor's dream. This is no simple reform. Freedom and human dignity. It really is a revolution. You could ask yourself a question. Teach you how to kill. Do I feel lucky? We're like the stupid people. Far more powerful than anything man has yet devised. Inspiration and hope. Life is visceral. Tearing down that wall. Buy a man for a man of because we had stupid politicians doing stupid things. Right? Let's get this straight. The United States. Enough on his life. and boldly. Stupid. I am having a wonderful time just messing with people. Are you from Westchester? I am born and raised. Uh, great. You go to the university here? Last semester I did. I'm just taking a semester off right now, but yeah. Who has Donald Trump married? Ivanka and a whole bunch of other foreign. Not Ivanka. That's his dart. Damn, Melania. Sorry, am I like Ivana? Yeah. Ivanka. Who he wants to marry his daughter first off. That's weird. But uh, Melania and I don't know who the others' wives. He has like three other wives. Yeah, Ivana was I think one of them. Yeah. And then Ivanka. It's. it's yeah, it's. It's just, it's funny that he doesn't like immigrants, he marries them. It's like, what you up to, Donald? What do you feel about his wall he wants to build? It's, that's just so stupid on so many levels. All right, the wall itself will cost at least 30 billions just to construct them. Within seven years, it will have doubled in cost just to maintain it. Secondly, what we should be doing is helping Mexico so that citizens from Mexico aren't fleeing to the U.S. If we can help their economy to make them stronger and make them um, make their economy as strong as the U.S., make their country better, why would they even want to leave, right? Right. So why don't we help them and not build a wall? So many European countries don't have massive walls, fences between their borders. They just have different cobblestone. Let's talk about a rare country. Let's talk about how our U.S. government and Oliver North sent money from our government over to Iran to fund. We created ISIS. That was back in the 80s, but we created ISIS. Not we might have created Al-Qaeda Al too. Al -Qaeda, more we created Al ISIS, ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Like something is wrong with this country at every level. But we need to reform at every level, but Trump is not the start of it. What you were saying, our government created ISIS. Right. Like I said, in the White House, they're not patriots. They're not patriots. They're pro themselves. Do you think Donald Trump is a patriot? Do you think he's and for it's everybody it's or do you just, think it's he's not for just, it's, not just, it's not just Bush's fault, it was also Democrats who voted for the Iraq which created ISIS. Let me tell you where I come from. I think there's a larger scale, the establishment. If Trump is, is the only option to bring that fucking thing down, all the corruption. But he's not. But is he going to bring it down? I don't, are you, 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 you pro-Trump exactly. or anti-everyone else? Oh, don't say everyone else. Anti-government, well, establishment, you know globalist. So you like Bernie too? So you like Bernie and Trump? Like I said, I hope it's Bernie. I, I hope if it's Bernie and somebody else, like Cruz, I'm going to fucking Bernie. Uh, tonight, we'd like to say a uh, special thanks. We don't have much time to thank everybody, and especially to our friends in the business and to our wonderful friends here and all of you out there for your great loyalty. Justice will be served. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America.